What will it take to fix traffic in downtown Baltimore? Chopper 13 over one bottleneck. City officials say an outdated network of traffic signals is part of the blame, and it will take millions of dollars to fix. WJC is live along President Street. Rick Ritter explains how this goes hand in hand with the Block the Box program. Rick. Well, Vic, warnings for drivers were supposed to start being issued today, but that has now been delayed. Many want these traffic signals synced up before they start issuing those fines, but really, Vic, it is much more than just that. This entire system needs an overhaul. Red lights, bumper to bumper traffic, and the sound of this. Rush hour in downtown Baltimore is never a pretty sight. Uh, the traffic is horrible and I catch the bus. City officials say it's an outdated network of traffic signals that's playing a major role in the congestion. Officials have said the system currently has signals running on outdated technology that's prone to failures and less responsive to issues compared to modern systems found in other major cities. The right lights on synchronized. We got through one green light, got to the next light, it was already red. The call for action comes as the city's block the box law could soon be in effect. City Council President Jack Young. I think the main problem downtown is the synchronization of the lights. Young says the lights are poorly timed and need to be fixed before they begin finding drivers. If the lights are not synchronized correctly, only one or two cars can get through and the third car can, you know, actually be in the box. Adding that the signals in those targeted areas for block the box fines have to be the number one priority. I'm only interested in where they're going to do the enforcement. I want those lights synchronized. They can work on the other ones later. And Young tells us he has a meeting with the Department of Transportation tomorrow. The department tells us they already have more than $20 million set aside in next year's budget to overhaul most of the system. Reporting live downtown tonight, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ. Okay, Rick, thank you very much. Once the program is implemented, drivers will receive $90 fines if they're caught blocking the box at intersections.